This is the AP Kitchen where everything has a significance. I'm Caroline Pond and I'm here today with our guest, Tomas Castro. And we're going to make you cow tongue tacos. Start with the cow tongue. You can get these at pretty much any Asian supermarket. Fill up the, a pot with some water. You want to cut about half an onion and put it inside the pot, let it boil nicely. Remember the tongue in water to cover it up until it's no longer pink? Add about a teaspoon of garlic powder or paste. So you just leave it to simmer for about 50 minutes until the tongue in the layer is able to peel off and it's soft and nice. When the tongue is done, wait for it to cool a while and meanwhile you can put some cilantro. So put some cilantro, put them in a medium bowl. Meanwhile, Tomas is going to peel the skin off of the tongue. And then dice the onions and add it to the cilantro. Once that's cool, you can cut the tongue into bite-sized pieces, preferably cubes. Beat a skillet at um, medium heat and add the tongue. Add some salt and pepper for flavor. Mm -hmm. Add some garlic powder for flavor. Put a tortilla on each side. Put it on a bowl. Take some of the tongue. And slide it up in the middle. Add some of your cilantro and onion mixture. On top of that, add salsa ice sauce. Voila! Voila! This is our dish. Tacos Grandes. Okay, let's try it. Let's eat. I think it's pretty good. What about you, Sarah? I think it's delicious. And there you have it. I'm Sarah Kwan. I'm Sarah Kwan. And this is Ribbit. Don't forget, everything has significance. <laughs> like tacos. Because you know the whole the Colombian exchange. So, what's the significance of an onion? I don't know. Let's go check it out. What's that say? Most researchers agree that the onion has been cultivated for 5,000 years or more. The place of time is still a mystery. There are many early documents which describe its importance of food and its use in art, medicine, and communication. It grew in China as early as 5,000 years ago. Back over 6,000 years ago, garlic is native to Central Asia and has long been a staple in the Mediterranean region. Egyptians actually worked with garlic and used clay pots of garlic bulbs and tomato to make hummus. All modern domesticated breeds of cattle are descended from the wild box Latin animals called arts. Yeah. Now, once roaming over large areas in Asia, Europe, and North Africa, they are independently domesticated in India, Pakistan, Middle Persian, Tomatoes have their origins traced back to the early Aztecs in central Mexico around 780. Therefore, it is believed that the tomato is native to the Americas. It was not until around the 16th century that the Europeans were introduced to this fruit when the early explorers set sail to discover new lands. Throughout southern Europe, the tomato was quickly accepted into the kitchen, yet, as it moved north, more resistance was the British, for example, admired the tomato for its beauty, but believed that it was poisonous, and its appearance was similar to that of the wolf peach. Indians of the Americas were growing corn extensively long before the discovery of these continents by Europeans. Archaeological studies indicate that corn was cultivated in the Americas at least 5,600 years ago. The exact origin is unknown as the plant is found only under cultivation. The probable center of origin is the Central American and Mexico region.